Welcome YouTube to today's tutorial on how to get started with Litecoin mining using your graphics card in your computer. I am using an AMD HD7970 graphics card which is the same as the R9 280X. However, you can use any other AMD graphics card. They all work fine. To get started, we will have to get a few things set up. The first thing is CG Miner. You will have to download it uh, from Z Colibas website. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, the file is the CG Miner 372 Windows zip file. This 372 is the latest version that works with script mining. To install this, I'm going to go ahead and open up my C drive. I created a folder crypto and CG Miner. I'm going to extract all the files into this folder and this basically installs our CG miner. Now we're going to have to create a, a BAT file to get all the commands inserted for the uh, mining. To do this, uh, make sure you have the fi uh, file extensions visible. If not, you will have to use organize for the view options view and make sure that it's height known file extensions is not selected. When you're done with this, uh, create a new text document. I'm going to call it Litecoin. Uh, we mine LTC uh, dot BAT. Yes, and we're going to do we're going to open this file. And it's going to be a blank file. So um, now we're going to go ahead and insert some commands that are necessary and important for the CG miner to work properly. I'll go through the BAT file with you and make sure that you understand what we've set here. Um, the first line set GPU max alloc% 100 is to enable the uh, program to use 100% of the graphic card memory. Set X GPU use sync objects one is to reduce the CPU load on or while mining. Uh, we're going to CD into the folder where the CG miner application is installed. You might have to change this. Let's say if you put it into a folder called mining and then CG miner, you will have to change this. However, mine is in crypto. Now, um, we're using uh, cgminer.exe to call the program and giving it some flags to get started properly. We're giving it three pools. The one, the first pool is going to the primary one and the other two are backup pools. The first one is dash dash URL for the pool address uh, command world.wemineltc.com port 3335. Then you're going to enter your username dash dash user in my case it's my name dot one for my first worker pass one two three whatever you said then there is uh, the flag for script mining we're going to be using a 7970 so we have to set shaders 2048 if you're using a 7950 it's 1792 if you're using an R9 290, it will be 2560, but other variables will change as well. Now, let's st stick with the R9 280X or 7970. We will set a thread concurrency of 8192, lookup gap of 2, and work size 256, as well as intensity 13 and GPU threads 2. The option Q0 and expiry 16 is to help reduce the amount of rejects we get. Now, if when this is set up, um, we are using our graphics card on stock clock settings. In my case, this is 925 to 1375, the stock 7970 settings, reference clocks. I would kindly ask you to use my username and password to mine as long as you're setting it up and trying to figure out the best settings for the highest hash rates. 
when you're done with all that you can just swap out your username and password with yours but as a little thank you i'd appreciate any mining time you can spare for me as well to set up your own worker you go on the WeMine lcc site you hit my account my workers and in here you can enter a work name down here it's always going to be your username dot something you select so let's say we're going to put 7970 add new worker and be sure to read through this um it tells you what settings you should use what settings you shouldn't use um so now that this is all set up we can just basically go ahead create a little shortcut of our uh, BAT file so we can start mining I'll put this down here so we can keep the uh, settings in vision or in sight and open up the CG miner if you find the window a little too small we can change this in the settings um, I like 9232 all right now this is set up it works um we're going to see our hash rate down here which is the current hash rate of this gpu up here this area average means the average uh hash rate of this complete cg minor session since startup or last reset let's say um we're going to go ahead and tweak some settings with the uh, clock rates to do this we're going to g gpu management we're going to say z change settings and there we see our current clock speeds now we're going to go ahead and change those starting off with the memory clock we're going to go in and set it to 1500 as an example now that it's 1500 we need to go down on the memory uh, on the engine clock since we always want to have an optimal ratio of somewhere around 0 0.58 0 0.6 0 0.61 uh multiplying your memory clock speed so memory clock to engine clock to to start off uh, we're going to calculate 0 0.57 times 1500 for the memory clock which gives us 855 engine clock so let's start off with this value and i recommend you taking a sheet of paper writing down those numbers and you will see the hash rate starts to increase all right now when you're seeing it uh, only increasing by 0.1 every now and then you'll probably be close to the max with this uh, setting so uh, writing down those numbers in this case it was 572 is the highest hash rate um you can work your way up let's say i'm going to go and set it to 880. you will see the hash rate starts to increase again and there's going to be a point that if you keep increasing the engine clock you will start to see a decrease in hash rate and this is the point where you have to go back a little bit so you're on the top optimum value for my graphics card i figured out that by using a memory clock of 1800 and an engine clock of 1080 i'm at an optimum for hashing at 743.44 on average now i'm recording the video using vlc and h264 encoding so it's using some of the graphics card performance and taking it away from the mining at the moment now let's say you figured out uh, how to get high hash rates by playing around with the clock speeds and uh keeping it stable um there's going to be an option that you can use it's called d display options and z zero settings if we do this we're going to zero this set uh, this average up here and we'll see that within a minute or two you'll be up to the average or the average hash rate is going to be at the same level as your current hash rate 
meaning that your graphics card is working at this level and you can check when you come back later that it didn't break in between or anything or is stable okay now that you're seeing that it's hashing uh, the average is 717 at the moment with my graphics card recording the video um, you can go into the WeMine LTC website and you can use uh, stats and user stats to see your current um, hash rates over the last days and weeks whatever how long you intend to mine and on the left side there's your uh, list on your current hash rate and your unpaid shares as well as by going to the my workers you can see a current hash rate it will take time to get updated with this tutorial i wanted to show you how you can set up the cg miner how you can start tweaking your settings uh, for your graphics card in this case a 7970 playing around with the memory clock speeds i'd go as high as possible on the memory clock speeds without compromising your main system stability and then adjusting your gpu engine clock speed according to the hash rate so you're at an optimum value i'll show you a table that i've done with 1600 megahertz and 1700 megahertz memory clock speed and uh, corresponding engine clock speeds on how this affects the hash rate. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel.